Now, this has been seen as the biggest aviation deal in history. Air India has scripted history with its bulk order of 470 aircraft from Airbus and Boeing combined. One doesn't really remember the last time a deal of this magnitude was inked and signed. While the deal is of prime importance to the revival of Air India under Tata Sons, it also speaks immensely of India's position on the global map and the relations India shares with France as well as United States under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So let's get down to the brass tacks. What really is Air India buying? Let's first talk to you about what it's buying as far as Airbus is con con concerned. The combined deal between Airbus and Boeing is at 470 aircraft. So let's break down the detail for Airbus. It's a total of about 250 aircraft. It's split between the wide body as well as the narrow ones. So let's give you a better breakup of what this deal is going to look like. We're looking at 140 a320 neos we're also looking at 70 a321 neo which are the single aisle planes we're also looking at 34 a350 thousands and about six of the a350 900 essentially as i said they divided between the wide body and the single and the narrow ones wide bodies are usually you know used for long haul flights currently india has direct flights to the united states where we use such aircraft Narrow body ones are usually used for shorter routes domestically within India or countries that are closer to India. Now, let's talk about the deal in detail. The deal is also a welcome boost for Britain's Rolls Royce, whose Trent XWB engines are actually going to power the Airbus's A350 jets. Now, let's shift our focus to what is Air India buying as far as Boeing is concerned. There, we have a total of about 220 aircraft. Let's break down those details as well of what Air India is buying from Boeing. As far as the breakup from Boeing is concerned, we're looking at about 190 Boeing 737 Maxes. These are ones that we already have in India, 190 B737 Maxes as well. What we're also looking at is 20 Boeing 787s as well as part of this over 200 aircraft that Air India is getting from Boeing. We're also looking at about 10 Boeing 777Xs as well. Air India, interestingly, in this particular deal with Boeing, also has an option for an additional 50 737 maxes and 20 787s, which means the deal value can also go up significantly. And here, let's talk about the numbers as far as the deal is concerned. Let's begin with Boeing first. As we've been pointing out, the deal has been finalized at a list price of $34 billion, one of the largest deals that we've seen in aviation history. The order from Air India, interestingly, is the third biggest in terms of dollar value. More importantly, it's also one of the largest that we've seen in terms of the quantity. As I said, we don't remember the last time we saw a bulk order of this kind. More importantly, what this will mean, as I said, this will solidify India's position on the global map. It will create jobs as far as the United States is concerned. The purchase will support as many as 1 million jobs in America. For Airbus, it's no longer actually publishes a list price, so we don't have an exact amount. But if you go back to some of the listings that we've seen by Airbus in somewhere around 2018, this deal at that time would value somewhere upwards of $35 billion. But let's get you a better backdrop of why this is important for Air India and Tata Sons. Remember, Tata Sons had bought Air India from the government last year, a sign of almost homecoming for the airline. The airline, remember, had been nationalized in 1953. What is also crucial to note as far as this deal is concerned is when the delivery will happen. Now, this is where we're picking up details as far as the internal communication that has happened within Air India. As far as the delivery is concerned, Airbuses has said that the company would deliver the first of the six A350-900s at the end of 2023 and then you'll have about 34 a 350000 that will be delivered a couple of years later while the rest of the 210 will come in the years after that. Now the acquisition by Air India is expected to win some back of the market share that it lost in the previous years to Gulf and the other Western Airlines. India today, remember, is one of the fastest growing domestic airline markets in the world with a surging diaspora offering revenues on major international routes.